was it Himmler who said that if you repeat a lie long enough, many times it becomes a truth. So this, this, is, this is entirely, this, this is entirely the, the issue with LMs that I was talking about last time. You know, LMs are just a token predictor. When they see a stream of text, they're going to start continuing that text with what are the most likely things to be said. Okay, so what is the most likely thing to be said? Well, it all depends on your training data. What was Grok trained on? Grok was trained on all the, all yeah, the Twitter yeah. uh, past data and probably a lot of internet stuff. And so when you look at what anybody can write, you know, it, so Grok doesn't have any ability to determine whether it's true or not. Um, it just sees whatever it sees the most gets the higher bump. And I, was it, was it, was it, was it Himmler who said that if you repeat a lie long enough, many times it becomes a truth? That is literally what happens when you're training an LLM. So there's more anti-Semitic content than there is content that explicitly speaks against anti-Semitic content. And, and why is that? Is that because the universe is, that Twitter is more anti-Semitic than it is, you know, pro-Israel or even neutral? No, it's because this kind of outrageous crap is just nonsense and nobody even needs to really speak back to it very often to, for a human to understand this is crazy nonsense. But for an LM, it's just the frequency of the terms that it hits, it's going to do that. This is inherent in all LLMs. If you train on data that contains this kind of frequency bias, mm -hmm. not a logical bias, a frequency bias, it's going to adopt that frequency bias as truth.